All right, so this is <laughs> this is about my 100th take, so we're just gonna go for it. Welcome to the video. Today, I'm gonna be talking about seven ways that you can be more productive. I'm assuming that if you clicked on this video, your time is very valuable, so I'm gonna do my best to keep things concise. Before we jump in, let me just say that being productive is not necessarily about doing more. Instead, it's about making better use of our time. It's about being more effective and efficient. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first way to be more productive is to prioritize. Prioritizing means choosing what's most important to us based on our values and beliefs. And it requires us to set aside time and space to get clear on who we are and who we want to be. In simple terms, prioritizing is just choosing what's most important to you. So if two decisions come up, which one are you gonna choose? And you need to know that before those things happen. This step is so important because it's going to help you choose opportunities and activities that line up with the direction you wanna go and the person that you wanna be. Why don't you explain this to me like I am an eight year old? All right, well, this is the overall budget for this fiscal year along the x-axis yes right there there's the x-axis and that's important because what's the point of being productive if you're not moving in the direction that you want to go and becoming the person that you want to be now that we've prioritized the second way to be more productive is to plan now you might be wondering joe aren't planning and prioritizing the same thing no they're similar they're similar but prioritizing is about choosing what's important. Planning is about being intentional with schedule and structure so that you can actually put effort toward those things that you deem important. Planning allows us to act from the inside out as opposed to react to the world from the outside in. Every Sunday night, I sit down with my calendar and I schedule out my entire week. That includes work activities, fitness activities, even free time with my wife. Because if it doesn't get planned, it doesn't get done. The third way to be more productive is to set boundaries. It's been said that constraint breeds creativity. I'm gonna argue that constraint also breeds productivity. What do I mean by that? Well, it means when we have constraints placed upon us, when we have a finite amount of time to do something, we are forced to focus and we are forced to be productive. Setting boundaries is going to look different for everyone, but for me, it looks like setting time limits for activities well in advance of when I do them. It means looking at my schedule and understanding that I only have X amount of time to get Y task done. When I have those restrictions, I perform better because I'm forced to focus on the task at hand. In short, setting boundaries and creating constraints forces us to focus, and focus is paramount for productivity. The fourth way to be more productive is to get organized. For me, that means putting things down all on paper. Because when things are bouncing around in my mind, they're hard to keep track of. And the mental energy that's required to keep track of everything bouncing around between my ears saps my productive potential. Getting organized looks different for every single person. For me, it means making a list, but for you, it might look totally different. Whatever it is, don't skip this step because getting organized is so important before we get going. The fifth way to be more productive, one thing at a time. Now that we're organized, we're ready to take some action and this is where the magic happens. So whatever method you use to get organized, whether it's a list or a storyboard or something else, take that and use it to focus your attention on one task at a time without distraction. Oh, hey, sorry. I just, I was, uh, I, I got distracted. For most people, getting rid of distractions means getting rid of their phone. 
It means putting your phone on silent and putting it on the other side of the room. Setting a timer and understanding that you're gonna focus your full attention on the task at hand and when that timer goes off, you can have a break. Better yet, put your phone in a different room altogether because believe it or not, there's research that shows when your phone is in the same room as you, even if you're not looking at it, it's distracting you. Focusing your attention fully on the task at hand, one at a time, allows for total immersion and better quality work, which in the end leads to increased efficiency, increased effectiveness, and increased productivity. The sixth way to be more productive is to take time for yourself. You've probably heard the saying that a car can't run on an empty tank, and it's cliche, but it's true. Sometimes you have to slow down before you can speed up. It sounds counterintuitive, but it's absolutely true. Sometimes stepping away from a task to recharge can make us more focused, more effective, and more efficient when we come back to that task at a later time. For me, I like to take breaks by getting outside, going for walks, working out, and taking some time to read. It might look totally different for you. But the point is this. Sometimes you have to step away from work and fill up your tank so that you can be more productive when you get back. And in the end, it's not about short-term intensity, it's about long-term consistency. And that's important because who cares about being productive if it's not sustainable? The seventh way to be more productive is to say no. No, no, nope, no, nope. It's about saying no to the things that don't line up with your priorities. Because as James Clear once said, the most dangerous things on your to-do list are the ones that look like opportunities but are really distractions. So the point is this, be intentional with what you say no to so that you can be selective with what you say yes to. And make sure that your yeses and nos are lining up with your priorities so that you can continue moving in the direction that you wanna to go toward the person that you wanna be. And that's really what productivity is all about. So let's review. The seven ways to be more productive or make more efficient and effective use of your time. Why don't you explain this to me like I'm five? Your mommy and daddy give you $10 to open up a lemonade stand. So you go out and you buy cups and you buy lemons and you buy sugar. And now you find out that it only costs you $9. Oh. Prioritize. Plan. Set boundaries. Get organized. Do one thing at a time. Take time for yourself. Be prepared to say no. I hope that this video was valuable to you on your path toward increased productivity. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. It helps me get this kind of stuff out to more people, and I appreciate that. I also appreciate you. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Hey there, hey there. Welcome back to another video. Hey there, hey there, hey there. Uh, welcome back to the... Good morning, I don't know. Top of the morning to you. Oh man, how do you do this? How do you do these? How do you start videos? It's so awkward. Maybe I'll do one of these.